Hey, it's Drew Dunn from Project Lift, and in this video, we're talking about how to use a lunge to get stronger in your Olympic lifts, in your squats, and all the things that you want. So we're gonna take this a little deeper. Last week, I talked a bit about great accessory exercises. This week, I'm gonna show how when we do a single leg lower body movement, how exactly that contributes to a big, strong, beautiful squat. So if you're watching this video, I imagine you wanna get better at your Olympic lifts. And if that's the case, and if you're a bit into the mindset where you know that your mindset gets the best of you, I encourage you to check out our free guided visualization exercise for Olympic weightlifting. It's gonna take you through a visualization where you can start to understand how to use the power of the mind to get better lifts and better performance. Now, once this video helps you, smash that thumbs up button, share it forward, share it with a friend, and make sure you subscribe because new videos are coming each week. When it comes to using lunges to get stronger for the Olympic lifts, what we need to do is really check our lunge form. We need to have the front leg being in a position and operating very similar as it would if the other leg was next to it in a squat. So this is what I want you to aim to do, is we're gonna make sure we're really loading that front leg and coming down into a lunge, keeping that front leg in this position that you see here, which mimics that squat position. Then we're driving back through the foot of that front leg. On this channel, I talk a lot about good foot activation. And with this lunge, it is critical. Good foot activation, good pressure into the core, and now we're loading this front leg very similar like we would load a squat, which very often most athletes when they lunge, they put more weight into the back leg and they feel that stretch in that hip flexor and down that quad of the back leg. That's not what we're looking for when we're using lunges in this way. The second point I wanna highlight when it comes to using the lunge to get bigger squats, get bigger Olympic lifts, is what it's going to call up is it's going to highlight imbalances. You're going to notice one side's weaker than the other. You're going to notice you wanting to shift to one side uh, in, in a certain way at different times. And that's going to limit your weight because when we do this, we need to keep our weight to where we can move well. Our, our hips square, us uh, staying in line without shifting, being able to drive through that foot. And this is where a lot of athletes panic because they're like, oh my God, that's so much less weight than my squat. But here's the kicker. It is fixing the imbalance that then you can apply it to your squat because the same thing is happening. You'll notice if you're lunging, if you shift to the side of your front leg, I guarantee you that your knee drops in on that side in a squat at higher intensities as well. See if that's correct, see if that's aligned, and this is a tool that we can correct that imbalance, which then makes our lifts and our squats so much better. The last point I wanna highlight is when we do this, it puts demands on our hip in a way that when our feet are in line, it doesn't happen. And these demands are excellent for the health and longevity of our hip and lower back. So by doing this, and again, I mentioned how it fixes and balances, the demands it puts on our pelvis and our hip keeps our hips and pelvis and lower back much healthier than if this wasn't in our program. And that's how the lunge can give you a bigger squat, bigger Olympic lifts, and one thing I didn't even put in the title, more longevity. So try these out. What questions do you have on them? Leave them down in the comments. I want to know. And any way we can support you, we will. We're a community, guys. Let, leave it down in the comments. And until next week.